that's you know gotten underneath it, expanded it, and then it's melted and then escaped. And you see up here, it's all torn apart. That's all water damage. If it's if it has water damage, it needs to be replaced. That means that there's too much restriction inside of here, inside of one of the there's two valves inside of there, um, and it's restricting it to the point where there's just a little bit of expansion and it's very cold in like one spot right after the, the valve itself. So that's what causes the ice buildup on the actual body of the E-valve. It's a failed, a failed valve, failed TXV. Okay. <coughs> um, if you have a machine that's not working properly, it's making funny noises from the compressor or something, uh, you want to kind of give the, the valve a little twist and kind of smell, smell it. Yeah, you'll, it's a very notable, notable scent if it's a burnout. Freon doesn't really smell like much of anything by itself. God damn. Okay. So the first... Uh, actually, we have one more panel to remove. It's much easier to access things with this little panel out of the way. A lot of times you'll find rusts and shit in here, but a lot of times the screws will get stripped out really easily. So I always swap them out with some stainless ones that we got from McMaster. Let's see with that out of the way we can access more of the, the tubing between the e-valve assembly and the chamber itself. Okay. The first thing we gotta do is get this sucker out of our way. <coughs> it's going to be a problem. There's two bolts down here. Two bolts in the same location on the other side. There's always washers underneath both of these to, to be able to match up the screw holes with the back panel. Um, try to recall how many washers go where. Uh, if you have a Sharpie you can write like two and one or something, depending on you know, how many washers are in there. I usually just kind of wing it. That's how I roll. Is that wing nuts? I'll wing your nuts. Oh. So already we have some... <laughs> the, again, this is somebody from Lyco who fucking did this and did a shit job at it. <coughs> is that in the video? <laughs> <laughs> Good! I didn't want to work for like anyway. Just leave it. <laughs> like a. That's a pretty good machinery. <laughs> they do the best work. <clears throat> okay. Double word with something worse. <laughs> <laughs> they are Nazis. <laughs> Don't eat your babies. <laughs> Alright, so. Easy way to do it, just kind of push it up here, slide it forward. Um, a lot of times you want to remove zip ties from the wiring that's because the wiring is attached here and it'll keep you from moving it forward. That sound was one of the washers escaping mm -hmm. from its zone. 